Hey guys, I'm Connie. Um, well, that's what I go by for short. Um, my real name's Consuelo, so now you know. Um, this is like my third time redoing this video because I don't know how to edit. So every time I mess up, I have to like stop and start over. So let's hope this time is different. Anyway, um, I was just reading. I was doing some homework and I was like falling asleep and I was like, no, I want to do my makeup and make a video. So here I am. Um, for the topic, uh, I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to talk about my piercings and like experiences, like the process, the healing process, how it felt, like pain, the pain level, or um, my birth control story. And most of you voted for my birth control story, so I'm going to start off with that. If I have enough time, I might talk about the, um, my mom just replied to my poll and she said men. <laughs> oh, I love the support. Um, I got, no, like I was saying, if I have time, I'll talk about both, but I don't want to make it like really long. Um, so I'm going to start off with my birth control. I, oops, see, like you can see, I'll talk about that later. I got my birth control rod back in 2014, the next plan on. The insertion, insertion, the insertion, when they inserted it, my inner bicep's coming out. When they put the rod in my skin, um, it was a quick process, like maybe five, ten minutes. Um, so I got that inserted. Uh, within the next couple of days, it bruised really bad, which was normal. Um, it was really sensitive. Nothing, like I didn't get nauseous or like moody or anything within the like time frame that they said I might feel that. Um, I did spot like twice a month. I'll spot like for two days and then like stop and then spot for like three days um, for about six months and after those six months my period just like went away um, which is a normal side effect of being on the next plan on rod they explained it to you they explained it to me and everything my period was irregular to begin with um, I started it in seventh grade and I from seventh grade up until I got the birth control, I had it maybe like five times. So not having my period is not weird for me and I'm just like used to it. Um, I went last month to have it removed. He was feeling around the area and couldn't feel it. So he was like, I'm gonna try just make an incision, see if I can find it that way. He made the incision, couldn't find it, and was looking for about an hour, so that was annoying. Sent me to go get x-rays, so the following week I went to go get x-rays. I went back to the doctor, and you could see it clearly on the x-ray, so I was like, okay, now there's no reason for him not to find it, like, he'll get it. And he made a larger incision than the first time, and I could feel, like, my skin being stretched, and it didn't hurt, it just... He could feel what was going on and I was like laying down with my arm like this like laying down and I could easily see what was going on so I was like mm, no no thanks like I can stand blood and things like that but since it was me I don't know it kind of weirded me out and then they're like all the metal and mm -mm, I didn't want to see it so there was one part of the procedure where I could actually feel the needle going like through my tissue and it felt cool like I know it sounds weird but like I don't know I liked how it felt and shortly after that it started to hurt and I was like um doctor am I supposed to feel that and he was like oh no 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 you're not supposed to feel that and I was like kind of freaked out like uh okay so he know my arm and I wasn't able to feel anything after that and it was about um 
an hour of him looking for it and he still couldn't find it and he was like you know what you're gonna have to go get surgery and I was like what do you mean surgery like uh, okay who's gonna pay for the surgery like Planned Parenthood they're the one that freaking put it in me so that was annoying um I'm gonna be getting surgery within the next month or two once the semester's over uh, I don't want to miss school again or work or anything, so I'm going to wait. And he prescribed me, oh, let me show you the stitches. So that was the first, um, the first attempt. And then this one here was the second. So you can see like it kind of bruised. And then the stitches, it looks really gross. It still hurts and it's been a week um but yeah that's my birth control story um i didn't get i don't think i got moody because of it um i'm latina so that just runs in my blood i think <laughs> uh other than like i gained weight but that's because i like to eat and i don't like to run so and if you'll gain weight with any birth control, you just have to watch what you eat and exercise and all that stuff. Um, so that's the first part of the video. I'll go ahead and talk about my piercing since it's, it's not, it's worth seven minutes right now, so I'll talk about my piercings. Um, I've had my tragus pierced and I've had my cartilage and my rook or however you pronounce it but I had to get those uh had to take them out because they were like not healing well and they're like kind of getting infected so I didn't have much success with that that kind of scarred me like mentally because I, I didn't want to get any body piercings and then they kind of like get like this or anything and I was like you know what I'm not gonna risk it and then one day I was just like I'm gonna go get my tongue pierced oh no my first piercing like my first body piercing was my belly button I got my belly button pierced and when I was 18 and then it got infected so I took it out and then I was like nope no body piercings and then when I was like 20 I got it again and I was like oh I'll just get it I'll take better care of it. I did take better care of it. I cleaned it differently than I cleaned it the first time. The first time, I think I was just using like soap. I didn't know you weren't supposed to use soap. And the second time, I was using the sea salt with um, water. And that helped. So that healed fine. And I was like, okay, cool, you know, maybe in the future I'll get some more. And then. Yeah, like how I was starting to say, I randomly decided to get my tongue pierced. Like, it's something I had wanted for a while. I just never had the courage to go get it. And I lived at home, and I feel like my mom would have, like, made me take it out. So, I got it maybe, like, I got it in November. So, December, January, February, March, April. Yeah, like five months ago got my tongue pierced it didn't hurt at all like at all when you bite yourself and like you're eating or you're talking or you sneeze that hurts like 10 times more than what it felt like to get it pierced like it didn't hurt it was just the healing process that sucked um i want to say the next day was hard i was just eating ice uh, mcdonald's french fries um like soups so the second day was the worst for me and then um, I had to eat light foods for about a week uh, but that was like the whole healing um, duration after I had my tongue pierced I got my nipples pierced um, that did kind of hurt the first one didn't really hurt because I didn't know what to anticipate and then once I felt the, the like, pain, I kind of 
was anticipating the pain already for the next one. So I was about ready to say, no, no, that's that's okay. I'll just have one. And whoop, went the needle and I was like, I'm okay. But honestly, now that I reflect, it didn't really hurt that bad. Like, I'd probably get it again. Um, needed be. So my septum piercing, that one hurt so bad. Like, if it closed, I wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't. Um, I wanted to cry because of how bad it hurt. And I have a high pain, to pain tolerance, but that freaking hurt. Like, it hurt a lot. Um, but yeah, those are my only piercings. Uh, dang. I would love to get my ears pierced and stuff, but I like piercings that you can hide. Like this, I can, like, hide it really easily, like. Hold on. Not that easily, huh? Like, you can hide it. You can't tell. Which is good for, like, interviews or things like that. And then my tongue piercing, I have, like, a clear retainer that I can put on. And it's, like, a, a pinkish color, so it really camouflages and you can't even tell. So I like piercings you can easily hide. I would love to have my nose pierced. Like, um, I think it'd be really cute. But like I said, I don't want it to get infected and it's, like, right on my face so yeah thanks for watching till the end and um i'll be back with more videos bye